Wolfram von Richthofen was one of the most renowned German aviators of World War II. With an impressive career in the German Air Force, von Richthofen showcased his exceptional skills and became an integral figure in the aerial warfare of the war. Early life and military career, born on October 10, 1895, in Germany, Wolfram von Richthofen hailed from a family with a strong military tradition. He was a cousin of the famous World War I flying ace, Manfred von Richthofen, widely known as the Red Baron. Inspired by his cousin's legacy, Wolfram von Richthofen developed a fascination for aviation from a young age. Von Richthofen joined the German army at the outbreak of World War I in 1914 and initially served as an infantry officer. However, his passion for flying led him to transfer to the German air service in 1915. During the war, he flew various reconnaissance and bomber missions, gaining valuable experience and honing his aerial combat skills. Contributions in World War II With the advent of World War II, Wolfram von Richthofen's expertise in aerial warfare made him a key figure in the German military. He played a significant role in the early campaigns, including the invasion of Poland and the Battle of France. Von Richthofen's tactical brilliance and strategic planning were evident during the Battle of Britain in 1940. As the commander of the Luftwaffe's 8. Flieger Corps, he orchestrated devastating air attacks on British airfields and infrastructure, aiming to cripple the Royal Air Force. His relentless efforts and leadership skills earned him recognition within the German military hierarchy. In 1941, von Richthofen was appointed as the commander of the Luftflotte II, tasked with supporting the German army's operations on the Eastern Front. He played a crucial role in the initial stages of Operation Barbarossa, the German invasion of the Soviet Union. Von Richthofen's air superiority and close air support were vital in facilitating the rapid advances of the German ground forces. Later, von Richthofen's expertise in tactical air support came to the fore during the Battle of Stalingrad in 1942. His air units provided crucial assistance to the besieged German 6th Army, although ultimately unsuccessful in reversing the tide of the battle. Legacy and post-war life, despite his achievements in World War II, Wolfram von Richthofen's association with the Nazi regime tarnished his legacy. As the war progressed, he became more critical of Adolf Hitler and the Nazi leadership, particularly their mismanagement of the war effort. However, his earlier involvement and position within the military hierarchy made it difficult for him to distance himself entirely. After the war, von Richthofen was captured by the Allies and stood trial as a war criminal. He was acquitted of any direct involvement in war crimes but his association with the Nazi regime resulted in his imprisonment until 1948. Following his release, von Richthofen retired from military life and dedicated himself to aviation research and writing. He authored several books on air warfare and contributed to the development of West Germany's post-war air force, the Bundeswehr. Wolfram von Richthofen passed away on July 12, 1945 leaving behind a complex legacy as both a talented aviator and a controversial figure in German military history. Conclusion, Wolfram von Richthofen's contributions as a German aviator during World War II cannot be underestimated. His tactical brilliance and strategic vision made him a formidable force in the skies, and his leadership skills influenced aerial warfare tactics. While his association with the Nazi regime has cast a shadow on his legacy, his achievements as an aviator remain significant, cementing his place in the annals of military history. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. By subscribing, you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.